The last time I went to a Parkview graduation, my sister was a commencement speaker. She wrote her speech 20 minutes before on a napkin in a restaurant. <laughs> Don't worry, mine's printed. <laughs> Remember freshman year? Oh, how long ago that was. Remember when group projects were the norm? I remember trying to come up with a presentation with my group for Leadership 101 and not knowing what in the world I was saying. Or all of the wild assemblies of sophomore year where you couldn't understand a word that was said. All you heard, all you could see was two guys sumo wrestling in giant bubbles and muffled yells were heard from the overhead speakers. I don't know what was said. Our junior year was cut off so short. Remember getting so excited about the second week of spring break? Yeah, we all know how that turned out. <laughs> the second week was a good time, am I right? Extra time off, extra sleep. Who wouldn't want that? Then, we didn't get any band competitions, assemblies, or a proper dance. Most of us suffered from severe isolation. Yet despite all of this, we overcame. We came out on top. We were thrown into the pool of online school, hoping to stay afloat. And yet, we persisted. Unprecedented, once in a lifetime, Zoom, surreal, uncertain, dumpster fire. These are just a few words to describe 2020 and my new set of vocabulary that I hope I shall never have to use ever again. We move past that into 2021. Let's be honest, socialization was not in the curriculum this year. We only saw half of our friends once a week. Even halfway through, some of our friends graduated early. I lost some friends, but along the way I found new ones. Good grades were a struggle for every single one of us. Trying to keep our heads above water with online classes, hybrid classes, random quarantines, no dances. Trying to keep our masks on properly, knowing when our assignments are actually due. Despite all of this, though, somehow, some way, we ended up here together. We are not alone anymore. Although this year has been unpredictable and chaotic, it has made all of us grateful for the small things that made a larger impact in our lives. Whether that be the random sophomore who told you they liked your socks in the hallway, that one teacher who let you turn in 12 late assignments with full credit, thanks again Ms. Barnes, I very much appreciated it. <laughs> or maybe it was getting to play Uno in the McDonald's parking lot at 1 a.m. with your best friends. A few things that made me smile was Sarah Tate being my personal candle reviewer for me, or accidentally starting a fire freshman year in nutrition and wellness. I'm still sorry, Ms. Wallace. Normalcy was thrown out the window. There have been challenges for each of us this year, but one thing remained the same. We would be okay. In fact, all of us being here in this arena tonight, we have shown our resilience and our strength, just like the Vikings that we are. So now, we look towards the horizon, towards the future, ready to take on the world, or maybe just the next week. So seniors, I leave you with my favorite quote from Leonard Snart from The Flash. Make a plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. <laughs> Our futures may be uncertain, but they are never written in stone. So create your own path. Appreciate the little things in your life. Tell your best friends you love them, vote, because your voice truly does matter. Make your money. Whatever you do, just keep moving forward. We can do it. Congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs>